What is up, people? Tens of Ear, and today I'm back with another Forge in the Barons Wild video. Today, the deck is Kingsbane Rogue. As usual, this deck has a bunch of ways to tool your Kingsbane, ways to make it big, and ways to slam your opponent with a ton of damage to their face. Besides that, the deck's pretty simple. It's just an aggro deck that has a big weapon that can only get bigger. Since the season just reset, aggro is going to be everywhere, and this is one of my favorite aggro decks of all time. Now, without further ado, let's get into those games. Ooh. Hello, Uther. Paladin, just rule of thumb. Not a very good Kingsbane matchup, no matter what it is. But we'll try. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep this Deadly Poison. I think I would just rather have a way to find Kingsbane. Okay. That's a way to find Kingsbane. <laughs> just getting Kingsbane. Whew. Love to see that. And we have the Buccaneer on turn one. Let's go. This is nice. This is one way to uh, one way to beat Paladin. Just be fast. And we have a prize plunder, which is nice against them. Okay, secret Paladin. Fine to see. Let's hope this isn't Yogg. If it is, that's fine. Is it really Yogg? Okay, it's Yogg. Innervate? Maybe? One time? For the one time? For the one time? That is so unfortunate. But it's okay, because next turn we have Kingsbane and Deckhand. Honestly, at this point, I just think Yogg's funny. <laughs> I've learned to embrace Hearthstone's RNG. That's scary though, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead hit here, hit here. We're gonna do that. I don't want them to have that at all. Ever. <laughs> Don't want them to have that at all. Okay, so I'm just gonna guess that this is Secret Paladin, like just straight up, like the list that's watch posts and everything. Okay. Didn't they learn that just got nerfed? Just got nerfed. Okay. Eviscerates. I'll take uh, I'll take a Dread Corsair. Let's. Swing first, see if they have anything silly. Cool. Dread Corsair. Boom. I'm not gonna swing at that King's Bane yet, though. Too nervous, too nervous. <laughs> Our hand is pretty nice for dealing with minions, though. We can deck hand to get some damage in, and then we can follow up with an Eviscerate and uh, Plunder for two, which is um, pretty. As far as King's Bane goes, it's a pretty good hand for dealing with sticky minions. So we can, we can clear a watch post and one other thing. What a, what a, what good cards to get off of first day of school. Wow. That, uh, that's some good RNG for our opponent. I'm jealous. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I was talking a lot about how good these <laughs> clears would be, so I guess let's use them, right? Let's hit there. Do they get an, an Avenge? Okay. Meh. 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 I get Yogged again. What do I get? Something good? Something good? Give me something good. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I'm happy about that, but it's a thing that happened now. We have to get rid of that. And rest face. Cool. Uh, interesting. I wonder why they're running that. It's intimidating. Oh, that's why they're running that, I guess. Okay. Sharp Sword Oil a little bit late, but I think we, hmm, I think I'm just going to drop these, keep swinging face. I don't know what else is in their hand, but they're looking kind of, kind of low on gas here. That first day of class, <laughs> Our first day of school. I don't really know what else their hand was, but without that, <laughs> they weren't looking so hot. 
Okay. It's pretty good. Oh, crap. We should have killed that, I guess. We learned a lesson there. Ouch. Cool. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of trading here. Yo-ho. Then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do that. Cool. Now, yes, we did do a lot of trading there, but, um, we can get our King's Bane back, which is the important thing. Okay, it's pretty good. And yeah, they look like they're about out of gas, so we're happy with that. We were happy with that. Like the other way, yeah, they would have been at one, but I think we're happier them having nothing than them having two big threats and us having nothing because this Righteous Protector probably would have been enough to keep them in the game, so fine with that. Okay. What secret do they have? We are definitely... New shiny. Let's hope that this isn't a redemption. If it is, we can't do anything about it, though. It wasn't. Okay. Love to see that. <laughs> okay, what do we draw if it gets yogged? Whatever. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, let's just drop this. Cool. Fantastic. Okay. Next turn we can do four, five, six. Because I'm going to guess they're not going to let that live. And then we can drop the Treant and the Buccaneer. Be cool. Hey, Man Creek. How's it hanging? Okay. Reporting for duty. Deadly poison. Yes, sir. Cool. Cool. Seems pretty good to me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. I think we're still chilling though, but that's pretty cool for them. They again, that that was a really good first day of school. That was that was really impressive. It's always cool to see when decks work like that. Oh! Good play by them. Oh, they don't want to stick it out, I guess. They were still... I don't know. I don't know what's else in their deck, but they were still looking okay. We take those, though. Wait a second, you're part of the 85% of Tencent's viewers that aren't subscribed? That's really cringe. Did you even know that when he hits a thousand subs, he's gonna start doing giveaways and put more money into his account so he can show us new cards? You should definitely subscribe, that's kind of weird. At least think about it, it really helps him out a lot, and it means a lot to him. Anyways, I just wanted to say that, and enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty. How's it going, Jaina? I agree. We make our own luck here, though. Uh... I think I'm gonna dump one of these, but Swindle on one seems pretty decent. Maybe we can get a raiding party. That's fine. Uh, I like this this deck hand as well. I think our best draw is definitely raiding party. Um, yeah, looking for a raiding party, and then off the Swindle, another raiding party would be cool. Secret passage is fine. Okay. Well, I'm gonna drop Buccaneer. Why not? Cool. Then the following turn, we'll dagger. Oh, nice to nice two two dagger. Cool. They spend their turn pinging. I love that. Cause they didn't do anything. <laughs> Is the important takeaway there? We're gonna keep our coin. It's really important in this deck, just because things are so. There's so many combo cards that it's it's really important to keep. Let's see what they got. They haven't showed us anything yet. Just pinging. Okay, well there's Kingsbane. <laughs> I'm going to drop, drop, drop. It's 
pretty decent. Next turn, we will definitely coin Secret Passage unless we draw something more compelling. I think uh, Sharp Sword Oil would be the only card that would make me do otherwise. Oh, okay. Dread Corsair is a great draw to just drop. Sharp Sword Oil? No. Okay. Raiding Party. That part of me kind of wants to just drop this. Drop both of these. Yeah, let's let's just drop both of these now. Let's drop this on here. Cool. Now they're in a pretty sticky spot. Assuming they're combo mage because they played two <laughs> research projects. It could be something different though, I guess. But... I'm willing to... I'd make a bet. Okay. Do they have Frostbolt? Okay. I actually... I saw a deck earlier that was running these instead of like a Mazaki thing, which I thought was really interesting and kind of weird. Let's just see if we have lethal. Like, is there ever a time where we have lethal? So we can deal... 8. Hmm... Is it worth it to just kill those instead? Huh. There are a lot of options. <sighs> Always so many. Hmm. How about this? We shoot one. The other goes here. We swing here and we coin and we... Drop that. We get our weapon back. Cool. Seems pretty decent to me. Now they don't have those spell damage people. But yeah, I saw that earlier on ladder. I'm not really sure what it is. Like, is it a faster version of combo mage that's just hoping to sling a ton of spells in one turn instead of having the big Mizaki? That honestly... Seems kind of decent because Mizaki costs quite a bit, so you just have to rely on yourself pumping out more spells, I guess. More face spells. If you run more face damage spells, I guess it could work instead of like your typical like Ray of Frost things that are just meant to add to the spell damage. I'm not sure really. I mean, they're gonna just die here, right? Yeah, they're dead. 100%. So we don't care either way. <laughs> well played. <laughs> cool deck. Hello, Gul'dan. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild guess just right off the bat and say that this is going to be Combo Warlock. Because <laughs> people are really, really eager to try out that new... The new Warlock cards. Understandably so. I... I'm also putting together my own combo version. I, I need to test it out a lot, but, uh, and waiting on there to be a more finite list. But let me just say, I am also very excited for all the Warlock stuff that's incoming. We're going to play the Buccaneer uh, just because it puts on pressure for them to do something on turn one, which Warlock can't always do. Especially with the combo Warlock. I don't know what they're running, but not typically Mortal Coil. We'll see, though. They could. They could have it. The 2-2 two -two weapon's just really nice to have. Cool. I guessed correctly. Hello, Prep. Prep is pretty good, actually. Uh, I think I will hit into this. Yo ho. Cool. Next turn we can hit in with our deck hand, these guys and our weapon, and then re-dagger. Assuming we don't draw something else. We really want the what to get Kingspan though with these two cards especially. Okay. They're stinging a lot. Of course, I mean, lots of Warlock decks run Tour Guide. Every Warlock deck runs Kobold Librarian. But 
Lots of digging. Sig oh, we're going to get greedy here. And I don't even care. Look at that. Um, yeah, just digging and nothing else. Signals combo. But I also kind of want it to be combo. I like to watch them. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Defile super sucks, but it's okay. I'm going to fire off this... This, um... Sharp sword. Sharp sword, to be honest. And I'll fire off this deadly poison. Why not? <laughs> what are they gonna do? We gotta. <laughs> we don't even have King's Pain. <laughs> Woo! Let's see what they do. I will be interested to see. Free admission. Okay, so I was right. But I don't. I don't know what they can do from here. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they don't have anything else. Cool. <laughs> No combo gets around King's Bane. <laughs> All right, I think that about does it for this video. Yeah, that's just some classic King's Bane. The aggro package plus that big King's Bane can just be a really lethal combo, especially at the start of the season when there's a lot of other aggro. Price Plunger allows you to get some really, really good tempo plays in, and I just, that card has always impressed me a lot. But yeah, as always, had a ton of fun with the deck, and I hope you had as much fun watching. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.